Jack, we're going to talk about rainbows. My eight-year-old daughter loves rainbows. Okay. Well, make sure she listens to this. All right. So. That's cool. Yeah. So it was not until Isaac Newton, my man. That's your boy. Okay. Early 1700s. He wrote a book in 1704. It was just called Optics. One of the rare books that he actually wrote in English. All his other books were in Latin, which was the. The, you know, well, the he really yeah. was a nerd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but in there, he figured something out. Okay. Everyone, of course, had known about the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Every, okay. And people have seen, you know, chandelier. Light will come through the chandelier and you'd see a rainbow colors come out one side or another. Everybody until Newton presumed that those colors were somehow getting generated inside the chandelier glass okay. or inside the raindrop. Right. That it was some property of the medium itself. Nobody was thinking that pure white light is composed of those colors. Oh, if only we could learn that lesson in our society. <laughs> God, Chuck we're getting all sociological. <laughs> Chuck getting all. <laughs> so imagine if Martin Luther King were more physics fluent. That would have right. been a whole different I have a dream speech. It would, I have a dream <laughs> that one day we will recognize the white, black, red, or brown. We're all white. <laughs> <laughs> People it's would, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody would have tipped their head and said, "What? It's what? We invited this man get there to with this? you. I may not get there with you, but we'll all be white one day." <laughs> okay. So here's here's how he did it. Okay, so he puts white light through a prism. Okay. And out the other side comes the colors of the rainbow, much as what we all remember from Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album cover. One of the best ever. All right. So he then, and this is what makes Newton Newton. He said, let me take another prism and put it upside down next to it. Ooh. Okay. And this would kind of reverse what had just happened. And when he did that out, the second prism came white light. Okay, how did I not hear? And all the time we've been working together, this is the first time I've ever heard this story. Yes. This is brilliant. Yes. Because in doing so, he proves that it has nothing to do with the actual medium itself, that the light coming in was merely separated And then by coming out and going back into another medium, it combines. It's the light. It's just the light. That's why he is Isaac Newton and the rest of us aren't. It's that simple. Wow. That is brilliant. And it's simple and brilliant. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's what makes it extra brilliant is how simple it is. So at that point, it's easy to sort of extrapolate that a rainbow is just sunlight broken up into those same colors that the prism did for you. Right. Okay. So now, what's going on inside a raindrop? So sunlight enters the raindrop at a particular angle, all right? Actually, it comes in at all angles, but only one of those angles will internally reflect off the boundary between the raindrop and the air. Okay, this is, this is the, one of the most fascinating features of optics. Okay. So, so in other words, if I'm underwater and I, let's say I have a laser, so we get a nice sharp point, and I point it upwards, not straight up, but at an angle, at a slight angle. When that laser beam exits into the air, it bends. Okay? It's bent. That, right. It's bent. Okay. Okay, you can right. picture this. You, you yes. can try it yourself if you have a pocket laser. Okay. So, it's easy then to expect that a similar thing is happening between sunlight and raindrops that was happening between your sunlight and your prism. So, (laughs) but the fun part is 
the sunlight goes inside the raindrop and bounces around a couple of times before it exits again. And by the time it exits, all of those colors have been separated out from the white light. And thus, you have this participatory rainbow where all of these dots of, uh, all these droplets of water participate in one coherent rainbow. Now, the, 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 the angle the light exits creates a rainbow that you see, okay? Right, okay. Right, you, you only see what enters your eye. You can't see what doesn't right. enter your eye, correct? Right. That makes sense. Right. Makes okay? sense. By the way, that itself was a discovery from a thousand years ago. Um, uh, uh, Ibn al-Haytham was a, a Muslim uh, scientist back in the, the golden age of Islam. He mm -hmm. was the first to deduce that sight is not you beaming stuff out of your eyes. It's completely passive. Your eyeballs are just sitting there waiting for light to enter and for your brain to then make an image. This is profound because yeah. before then you had these legends like 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 uh, Medusa. Yeah. All right. Uh, how does Medusa work? How does that work? Well, when you look her in the eyes, she turns you to stone, basically. She because turns you right. into stone. Because she's casting whatever from her eyes. From her and eyes, that's, correct. That's what you right. could only think that if you have no idea how vision works. Right. That's or or if you're creating X-Men, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got, yeah, he's got his little yeah. visor thing that right. can send out the beams. So what that means is all of the rainbow light that's coming to you is exiting those raindrops at the precise angle that enters your eyeballs. Okay? Okay. That means your rainbow is unique to you. Wow. When, oh. If I stand to your left or right or above, doesn't matter, if I stand somewhere else and we're looking at, quote, the same rainbow we tell ourselves, we're not. You know what this fact means? I do not. Okay. Every rainbow you have ever seen has been exactly face on to you. Aha. Uh -huh. And so I am, every rainbow actually was made just for me. Just for you. You have never witnessed a rainbow at an angle. Angle, right. So think about that. Because if your rainbow was a real thing in the sky, I could move to another location and look at it from a different angle. Right. If it was an like, actual thing. Like anything else, right? Like a, a mountain, a tree, or a whatever. Mountain, like anything else. Okay. Right. So... If you wanted to go to the base of the rainbow, you can't. Ah. Because that would be taking a different angle of view on a thing that does not really exist as a physical entity. And, and now you have just explained how I have wasted a significant portion of my life trying to find that pot of gold. <laughs> If you're going to hide a pot of gold, <laughs> put it at the bottom of a rainbow, nobody, nobody. will ever find it. <laughs> exactly. Ever. Ever. Yeah. So, so just a, a little known fact. Now, the light that's inside the raindrop, this is like inside baseball here. You ready for this? This is Go like, ahead. this is for, this is, this is rainbow 201, not 101. So the light inside the raindrop Right. Sends out not only one rainbow, but multiple rainbows, but each next one is a little weaker than the previous one. Okay. 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 And because the second rainbow that comes out had an extra, extra reflection to it, if you ever see a double rainbow... Oh, it means you're tripping on mushrooms. Oh, no, if you see the second rainbow. Oh, no, uh, no, Chuck, it's just rainbow. physics. No, yeah, sometimes it's actually just physics, not the sometimes, mushrooms you've been consuming. Much, yeah, okay, got you. So, go ahead. The so double rainbow. With that, two properties of that second rainbow is, one, it's much dimmer than the first. Got you. It's always there, but generally it's very hard to detect because it's so dim. So it's much dimmer, and the sequence of colors is reversed. Oh, no. From the original. That's, okay, that is 
First of all, that's dope. Secondly, who knew? So the double rainbow is kind of like the reverse rainbow. It's a, it's a, it's an inverted rainbow to the first rainbow, and it's dimmer. There's actually a third and fourth and fifth. They're, they're called the orders of the rainbow: first order, second order, third order. But right. they, they're so dim. And if, if, it, if the sky is bright, you just will never see them. And there's a famous YouTube video some years back. Uh, I think they just call it the double rainbow guy. He's hiking. Yeah, that's what mountains. I'm saying. He's tripping on mushrooms, that oh, guy. And he sees two rainbows and he, and he falls prostrate to the ground. Uh, and oh. and said, so there is a God. And oh, double it's so rainbow. Beautiful. It's double so rainbow. beautiful. And that's how you behave if you don't know physics, right? You just think it's a, right. it's, it's, a it's just physics, really. That's yeah. all it is. It's yeah, just yeah. physics. Yeah. Once again, Neil, way to ruin rainbows. <laughs> no. <I'm just> <laughs> I want you to reserve your sense of wonder for things for which we still do not understand. Ah. And not apply it for things that are completely understood. Uh, you know, there will always that... be a moving frontier of science where our area of knowledge grows, so too does the perimeter of our ignorance leaving us with no end of this universe to stand in wonder as we gaze. Wow. Okay. Thank you, and people. That's the show. <laughs> no, that's Not, ain't nothing left to say. <laughs> nothing left to say. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, Chuck, there's more on rainbows, but I'm going to end it there. That's enough for one day, I think. You know, yeah. Yeah, you you good with that? Yeah. I'm good with that. I okay. mean, okay. You know, All right. Yeah. That ends another I, explainer. Next time we'll talk about Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody's watching too much TV. Too much Saturday uh, you know, morning TV. Uh, I got kids, man. <laughs> I got kids. <laughs> and I want to taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, another Star Talk explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson here as always. Keep looking up. 